Uh, good evening. Are you out for a walk, too? Best time to catch the night air, isn't it? It's the best time to break into the pit. You think someone wants to do that? That would be crazy. Suicidal. Drop the act. I know you're here for the cleric's weapons. What? I, why would I want them? What are you accusing me of? You're a cleric. I'd be risking my life if I was. Doubly so if I tried to steal from the pit. The Berserkers know there's a cleric in Goliath. Angram sent me here to find you. If the Warlords did know there was a cleric hiding in Goliath, they'd have acted by now. But obviously the Berserkers can't prove who the cleric is. If, uh, of course, there really is a cleric in Goliath. And if there is, and you knew, <laughs> would you be willing to help that cleric? If he'd not really done anything wrong? If they'd not hurt anyone, I would help the cleric. Very well. Good. Then, if that's true, I need you to speak to Ragnar's wife, Rika. She understands that the free people need to stand together. She sees that the Albs are the true enemy of us all. Speak to her. I know Rika can organize the cleric's safe departure. Please, if you go to her, I will pack my things and be ready to leave then no one needs to worry any further. If we don't see each other again, thank you. Know that you will find friends in Ignodon. Bertram needs your help. Bertram? He's not run up another debt with Orin again, has he? Engram has discovered that Bertram is a cleric here in Goliath to recruit for Ignodon. And Bertram wants my help? Listen, you must act quickly, or Bertram will be killed. He's from the Free People, and he's asking for your help. Well, you have risked yourself for us, so I suppose I owe you for that. A caravan set out to transport a seedling. I'm sending more people to help with it. I can arrange for Bertram to go with them. He'll be beyond Angrim's reach, and we'll have an escort out of here. Wait here a moment. I've taken care of it. Bertram will be added to the list of guards. They'll leave shortly. Thank you. Don't thank me. All life is sacred, but... This was a betrayal by him and by me. You should learn all laws if you want to... Get out. Are you thinking of stealing something?
I was hoping I would find you here one day. I couldn't really talk to you in Goliath. Everything moved so quickly. Here, please take this as thanks for your help getting me out of Edan. Were there any problems during your escape? I'm still breathing, but only just. As you surely remember, Rika, the wife of the warlord, assigned me to a group that was transporting a seedling. I got a good way from the fort, traveling disguised as a cultivator. So what happened? Well, the armor is one thing. But eventually, they asked me questions about my job. After all, those berserkers had nothing else but that damn vegetable. And were you found out? Yes. I could see their suspicions growing. So I used the next chance I got to get away. When we were ambushed by a mulch, I fled. Luckily, I ran straight into the hands of a cleric patrol. From then, it was child's play to get back to Hort from there. That's all I need to know. Right. Well, uh, thank you for everything. I will never forget this. Tell me more about the clerics. You know about the comet that struck our planet? Well, back before the impact, Magellan had technology that could take you into space, or to the bottom of the ocean. So? So the clerics want to see that Golden Age return. We don't want to abandon all the things our people achieved. The clerics think that, with Kalan's guidance, technology can sort out this mess of a planet. That it can mean safety and progress for all the free people. <laughs> 